What is up guys, Andy Forrest, Steam Runner here. Welcome back to another video. You join me out here, trying not to get run over, out on a long run. And today, we're talking all about the Cardiff Half Marathon training update. Today's long run in at the next percent two fast pack colorway, beautiful colorway. And then we have some mail time. Welcome back to another video and uh, today as I said we're out here on the long run I want to give you guys a proper training update because as of this long run it's then two weeks to Cardiff I've uh, just kick-started my long run workout which I'll talk to you about in a second but uh, today's all about time on feet banking the miles and battling the uh, fatigue that I've had over the last couple of days I'll tell you now what I'm doing for that today is I'm just backing off all of my normal paces. Uh, moderates, I'd normally run 6.30, 6.40s. Um, today, it's more like 6.50, 6.40s. Uh, started with a nice 7.10 uh, first mile, just, just warming into it, then my body adjusts. And uh, from then, I'm just doing mile on, mile off. Uh, trying to keep the offs at that moderate pace and the ons all I'm trying to do on the ons is just speed up so no goal paces just kind of like surging so I've done the first one 605 that was net uphill happy with that and uh, yeah we're gonna see how many I want to try and do six of them um, that's the goal today anyway Three out of the six that I have planned. The other two paces were 6.04 and then 5.53. That one's going massively downhill, so heart rate stayed quite low on that one, I had to think. I didn't breathe hard at all. Uh, but the moderates are all eight sixes, and both the moderates have been net uphill. So, I mean, what goes up must come down, but overall, on the third moderate now, at the moment averaging 6.51 uh, pace for this one. So, you know, if I can do this again for another three and keep it consistent, I'll be really happy. I'm gonna do another loop of what I've just done uh, to keep it nice and undulating. What's a good bit of a challenge today. Fifty-seven for the sixth one. I think it was five fifty-seven for the fourth, and six oh five for the fifth. This one slightly downhill for the last point two of a mile, but overall feeling really good today. Um, and I've done my six. I haven't cut loose on a long run uh, for a long time, and I got about two hours ten, two hours fifteen to play with today. So um, I might be a bit naughty and uh, do another one or two depending on how I feel oh, I'm definitely gonna do another one that's for sure um, this is gonna take me back out onto the industrial estate and rather than doing another loop because I haven't got time for that I'll just go up and down a couple of times and uh, yeah just I'll get one more done at least but I like to get two and uh, oh, just roll with it when a good day comes around take it grab it and run with it Yeah. 
in control. 554, 548 for the last two. Feeling amazing. Uh, taking this up to, oh God, my feet. Two hours 10, just over 20 miles. And let's uh, wrap this bad boy up and go talk about Cardiff and then open some parcels. So there we go, what a run so happy mind-blowingly happy with that run longest run of the year there's a multitude of reasons why i'm happy with it i'm going to go through with you guys now why i'm so happy with that and obviously training cardiff training let me give you a good update on that and i'm going to keep this clear and concise because we have a lot of mail time to do but it was all about the next percent twos today very kindly gifted to me uh, by nike they very kindly sent me out this incredible box have a look at this uh, this also contains a pair of streak flies. So I have another pair of streak flies, which I'm so, so grateful for. I got sent this incredible box if I don't get assaulted by the box on the way. Uh, and within all of this, this is probably going to be horrible on the audio. Bear with me. Let me open this up. In here, I have the new colorway of the streak flies, the find your fast, the fast pack colorway. Um, and that, along with the next percent of, if you are interested in either of those, I was gonna pop a link out to the streak flies because I was so excited for them to be uh, released, but they sold out in four minutes again, which is nuts. I will leave a link down in the description for the fast pack colorway for the next percent and the alphas and all of that. If you love the look of them, which I've got to say, I love the Volt Pack colorway, they're incredible. This is now really rivaling. I'm not sure which one my favorite is. The baby blue one, nah, it's not particularly my favorite, but this and the Volt Pack one, wow. So I'm really so grateful that Nike sent these to me. So I basically just got them out of the box and took them for the long run. I just wanted to get them out the door, test them out, see how they were. And as always with any next percent twos or next percents that I pop on, they're just great out of the box, 20, over 20 miles in the bank. And I did a good undulating loop. Let me dive into training, just wanted to get that out there. These have indeed been gifted to me. I have another pair of street flies, which is great, because I've got 70 miles in those, uh, my first pair already. So they're gonna be waiting in the wings for those ones to retire. I'm loving them, my number one workout shoe at the moment. So glad to have another one of those ready for backup. So in terms of Cardiff, it's been a great three weeks. I finally hit or got back up to just 50 plus miles three weeks ago, feeling really good, really strong. And my focus for the last three weeks has been to do two hour long runs, just building that aerobic system back up time on feet, putting some good moderate effort into those long runs and feeling good whilst doing it. So that's been the focus. In the week times, it's been all about the shorter, sharper reps. Tuesdays have been the intervals where I've been running in and around the 5.20 per mile pace. That's been anywhere between sort of two and three minute intervals. I've got my biggest interval session this week coming. Then we're gonna be tapering down nicely. That's been my Tuesdays, my Thursdays. They've been kilometer repeats for the last couple of weeks. that have been 10, 10 by K and 12 by K. You've just seen that video. If you missed it, go and check that out again. That's been sitting in the 5.30 per mile range. That's it's not gonna be my goal half marathon pace. I feel like it's maybe a slightly bit quicker, but I'd love to run an average pace of 5.30 something at Cardiff. That would be a dream, get into the 74s. So I've really got that in my mind. I'm feeling good, I'm feeling fit. I'm thinking to myself, go out there, give it a shot. You've got nothing to lose. Fridays have been easy. Mondays have been moderate. Saturdays have been long run. And that's why this weekend was such a good milestone because Thursday's workout, 12 by K, I did it. You saw how I did in that video, but my heart rate was about five beats a minute higher, and I certainly felt it. When I got home and uploaded it, I was like, wow, 169 average, last week was 164. Now bear in mind, I don't check this stuff whilst I am out on the run. I'm not even bothered about my heart rate and going by feel, and it felt hard work. So I was thought, oh, am I coming down with something? The kids are poorly, am I harboring it? And then Friday, heart rate was through the roof again when I logged to my easy run, 141 average. I always try and keep it in the 130s. Again, not checking it whilst I was out there, just got backloaded it. And at the time I felt, oh, I felt really sluggish and rubbish. So I approached yesterday with caution, 
went out of the block slowly, did not try and go out at 6.40 per mile pace, which is my usual in and around there moderate pace. I started in the sevens and just worked my way down and did that one mile rep, just thought to myself, just do the one on and see how you feel. And I've got to be honest with you, I felt really smooth and really good and was really surprised by the pace. Uh, bearing in mind those four warm-up miles were all in the 650s and 7s. So I thought, just take a little bit off today and see how you feel. Well, that paid dividends towards the end of the run because I felt so good. I got to that sixth one and felt, do you know what? Grab this by the scruff of the neck. When you're feeling good, take it and run with it. I wanted to do two hours, ended up doing two hours, 10 minutes, and it was just fantastic. Did another couple, really progressed them down, got that last one down to 5.48 per mile pace and just feeling really strong. So the plan now with this last week is to make Thursday or Friday, whichever day I do my workout on this week, it might be Friday, my last big session. The long run this weekend is going to be small, so it's going to be one loop of the cycle track, probably 11, 12 miles. Uh, but up until that point, I'm going to keep training as normal, got some intervals on Tuesday, and then hopefully Thursday, I'm going to get the last workout done and then start to back off for Cardiff. Everything the week after is then going to be a lot less intense, a lot less volatile volume and yeah just try and freshen up and get ready so that's a Cardiff training update everything's going well touch wood at the moment let's dive in to all of this mail right so let's dive in to all of this awesome mail and let me just disclose all of this stuff I'm about to show you has indeed been gifted to me uh, I'm extremely grateful when I was doing my gratitudes at the end of the day the other day with my wife I think it was on Friday at the end of the week when I had all these parcels turn up I just said to her wow I you know sometimes you just have to pinch yourself and don't ever get me wrong or misunderstand me I am eternally grateful that companies would even bother to send me stuff and this means the world to me I really appreciate it I really appreciate your support and uh, I can't wait to deliver you guys some reviews on this stuff so let's dive into all of this as I said I'm humbled beyond humbled. So we've got ProDirect first. ProDirect have been in touch with me. I'm making an exciting video next week. Might be the week after, but next week I have a trip. I'm not disclosing anything else and I cannot wait. And it's all uh, revolving around Nike stuff and this new fast pack uh, colorway. Obviously we've seen it here with the next percent and the street flies and the alpha flies in the road racing shoes. They very kindly sent me some Peg Trail 3s, Gore-Texes, in the new colorways. They got taken out on Friday for their maiden run. I'm going to deliver a review on these next week. So I took those out for my easy run. In and amongst all of that, I have a whole host of trail running kit. I've got a casual t-shirt here, uh, which they uh, sent me, which is amazing. So I'm going to be wearing that a lot next week. Uh, I'm not going to say anymore. <laughs> I will not say anymore. It needs to stay a surprise. Got some awesome trail shorts here. Cannot wait to try these gel pockets. Pockets here. These are the sorts of things that I really miss. I've got really rubbish collection of shorts with no pockets and things. So these are going to be a fantastic addition. I'm going to be showing you more of that very soon. I've got this incredible, I wore this on Friday, this incredible Nike trail jacket. Um, took this out on my Friday easy run with me when I was testing out the peg trails. Wow, absolutely so comfortable. A nice cap there, and we have a new Nike Trail vest. So all of this is gonna be revolving around a project I'm doing with Pro Direct Running. Again, my mind is blown with this. That's happening next week. If you follow me on Instagram, you'll see more on Wednesday. Video hopefully out later in the week, so stay tuned for that. Got some more clothing stuff here that I'm gonna go through shortly with from Saw and Say Sky. But first, very quickly, 33 Fuel got back in touch with me after my review of their stuff. Uh, they were delighted that I love their stuff. They've sent me some more products to try, protein bars and carb drink. Well, the protein bars are gone. I genuinely, I'm saying this from the bottom of my heart and they're not expecting any more reviews from me or anything. I genuinely mean it when I say this stuff is great, all natural, beautiful protein bars filled with nuts and oh just oh everything this stuff is the shiz don't get me wrong there are some great products out there but these are addictive they were gone after every session and every long run they were sent a couple of weeks ago or just after the review dropped 
uh, carb drink. I've had some of that already. I've had a few glasses of that. This bag was full to the top, so I've used that much already. Uh, this is good as well. Been using this. Um, been using this, when did I have this? Before my long runs, the night before to top up my carbs. So if I have a bit of a rubbish dinner, I'm being mindful that I go out on a long run morning and don't fuel, I just get up and go. Uh, so I have some of this on the night before my run to top up my carb levels so that I have something decent in the tank for those Saturday morning long runs. So a massive thanks to 33 Fuel. That combined with Bix Hydration, these guys have sent me a whole host of products. These are electrolyte tablets. We've got the standard electrolyte ones and I've got some recovery tablets as well. And I have to say, again, they are not paying me to say anything. They very kindly sent these out to me. Uh, these are the nicest tasting hydration tablets I have ever had. Now, I buy SIS hydration tablets. You guys know I'm a massive Unived fan, but I shop in Lidl's and Lidl's stock SIS. I hate SIS gels. I hate a lot of SIS stuff, to be honest, or the old stuff. I know they have a new range of gels out, but the old stuff used to turn my stomach upside down. Could not get on with it. The Rego uh, protein stuff was good but again, used to turn my stomach upside down. So never got on with the gels. And I just buy their hydration tablets because they're in Lidl's and I can get them. So this is a really welcome change and these are far superior to SIS. These are tasty as. I have gone through a tube already. They sent me five tubes, one down, great flavor, four to go, plus a couple of small recovery tubes as well. A massive thanks to Bix Hydration. Again, highly, highly recommended. Moving on to the final couple, what have I got? Two lots more now, Saw and Say Sky. Let's do Saw first, so you guys know. Saw sent me some stuff um, back. Uh, last year, I'm not going to show you everything because I'm going to do a full review on saw kit, uh, but I'm going to show you the vest. They sent me the green vest because it matches my colours and my branding. Legends! Unbelievable! And I've tried this on and it fits like a dream. This, ladies and gentlemen, will probably be my Cardiff Half Marathon vest. I cannot wait. Uh, especially if it's warm. If it's really cold, I will probably wear club colours, but that club vest I cannot wear in any kind of warm conditions. It's so thick and horrible and hot. So this will be the vest of choice. I'm not gonna show you the rest of the stuff. You'll have to stay tuned for the review on that summer kit coming soon. And finally, Say Sky again. I will not show you all of the stuff they sent me, but I will show you a couple of bits. They sent me this freaking awesome running hat. Uh, and they sent me this awesome t-shirt, this running t-shirt, it looks so casual. I did my long run that you saw today in full Say Sky kit. So I kitted myself in that, because obviously I've tried Saw before and I'm waiting for the warmer weather next week which is coming for their stuff. I thought I'd give Say Sky stuff a go, see how it feels absolute dream so some more information coming on this again this might be the week after next so many videos to cram in but again a massive thanks to say sky for sending over a ton of kit i'm going to be going through all of that with you guys hopefully in the very near future so that's mail time i genuinely can't believe it i had an influx of boxes last week and i just thought i need to bundle them up and share them with you two separate reviews coming on saw and say sky and, uh, and the PEG 38 Trail, no, not 38, PEG Trail 3 Gore-Tex. I'll get there in the end. So that's it for today, guys. I really hope this isn't too long. I know I've waffled for ages, but I really appreciate your support. If you enjoyed today, guys, and are excited for next week's Pro Direct event, give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, subscribe to the channel for weekly running content, and as always, I'll see you in the next one. Until then.